Are you stupid or something? Stupid is stupid does, sir. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. Barack spoke to the United Nations about this film nobody has seen and said this. I have made it clear that the United States government had nothing to do with this video. And I believe its message must be rejected by all who respect our common humanity. It is an insult not only to Muslims, but to America as well. No, it is not. I am not offended by a film about uh, Muhammad. I, let me make this very clear. As a Christian, I do not put other faiths on par with mine. I don't seek to kill anyone who is not a Christian. I wouldn't hire or fire someone on the basis of not being a Christian. I wouldn't do any harm. I don't expect them to have any fewer rights. They are my fellow America. They are my fellow citizen. But I do not recognize the equality of all religions. And if you do, you are not a Christian. The Bible is very clear in that commandment. You are not a Christian if you believe in the other religions. The Bible is very clear. God commands his primacy over others. And by the way, Muslims feel the same way. I will not pander to any group of people. I will never pander to Muslims. Not only because Muslim-dominated countries can't figure out running water and air conditioning, not only because they repress their women, not only because they lack the basic tenets of Western civilization, like fairness in a judicial system, but because they are a different faith, and by my mind, a lesser faith, an untrue faith. And you will not get me, I will not You will not get me to say that their religion is the same as mine. If you wish to say that, that is fine. But I will not have Barack tell me that I have to be offended because Muslims are offended because Muslims do nothing but be offended. It's what they do. Muslims have been getting offended for how many thousand years or at least how many hundred years. Muslims have been blowing stuff up and burning things down and chopping off hands for a lot longer than this country existed. And I'm tired of being told that I have to be worried about whether they're offended because I am not. I am not insulted by this film. I choose not to watch it. And if I did watch it, I may or may not be insulted, but I suspect I wouldn't. And 99% of Americans haven't watched it. And Barack needs to stop saying that we're insulted, and he needs to stop apologizing for it. I am sick of apologizing. I'm tired of it. I don't owe these damn people anything. They don't pay for my kids' school to come to their country. We pay for theirs. They don't send us aid. We send it to them. They don't feed our children. We feed theirs. They don't build our buildings. We build theirs. They don't protect our borders. We protect theirs. We don't go in and blow up their buildings and threaten them with terrorism. They do it to us. I do not owe those people an apology. And the fact that some Muslims live in this country does not mean that I owe them an apology either, and I won't do it. You are lucky to get to come to this country. We are lucky to get to live here. But I will not apologize for this country and its culture. I will never apologize for that. I will never be ashamed of this people, this people and what it has done over the last several hundred years is unprecedented in the world. And the Muslims never did that. Make no mistake about it. And the fact that Muslims come here and will try to rat some of us out because we're not as in love with Allah or the Prophet Muhammad or them as they are, that's bull. And I am tired of people in this country being so afraid of offending Muslims that they will turn on each other. If you are offended, Muslim, 
Muslim lover, Christian, afraid of Muslim, that's your business. But I am not going to apologize to you. I will not apologize. And if someone blasphemes your religion, you will decide how offended you get. And I won't apologize that you overreact. You will decide whether you issue fatwas. You will decide whether you want to blow stuff up or kill somebody or chop off a head or stab somebody or whatever else it is you do. I didn't decide that for you. And I got news for you. Any prophet, supposed prophet, so offended by what a human who doesn't follow your religion does, doesn't sound very powerful to me. If he needs some illiterate desert dweller to go kill somebody in his name, I question how powerful he is. I question what a great God you worship if, in fact, he supposedly commands you to do that. If, in fact, your God commands you to kill in his name for a movie you never saw because somebody across the world supposedly did it in a language you don't speak. But then again, that's redundant, isn't it? Suggesting that you're stupid is somewhat redundant at that point, is it not? I have people who email me and say, Michael, I worry about your safety because of the things you say. Really? Do you worry about my safety? Would you worry about my safety if I criticized Christians? Would you worry about my safety if I criticized white people? Would you worry about my safety if I criticized America? I'm not worried about my safety. I'm worried about my country. I'm worried how it can happen in my country that we are honest to God, scared of these people, and repeatedly telling them how peaceful they are so they won't kill us. I am worried because we are being told by people with intelligence, with, with, with intelligence gathering capability and intelligence briefings that tell them about terror cells in this country and going from that briefing about Muslim terror cells in this country to give a speech about peace and tolerance. I am worried about that. I am worried because we've grown comfortable at the notion that Barack can tosuck Muslims around the country, around the world, in a desperate attempt to appease violent people. I'm not worried that he does it. I am worried that there is not an outcry in this country. I am worried that there are still people who say, yeah, but I'll vote for the third party candidate and give him four more years to do it. This country can't survive four more years. I, I don't, I mean, we'll still be the United States of America, but it won't be what we inherited. And I'll tell you this, I will risk everything I have to save it. Because my little boy will survive long after I do. And when he's my age, I don't want to be ashamed when he says, Daddy, what did you do? Daddy, what did you do to save this country? Daddy, when all those horrible things were happening, what did you do? And I don't want to say, well, I had a job 40 years ago, son, and I was so afraid of losing it that I let this great country that is no longer, I let this country slip into hell because I didn't want to lose that job 40 years ago, three jobs ago. I'm not going to let that happen. And I trust you're not either. Thank you, folks. Michael Berry has left the building.